you think? Buddy, what's happening? It's Tuesday, September 3rd, 2019, and I'm just leaving work for the day. Uh, I'm just leaving a few minutes earlier than normal. It's about uh, 10 to 4, and I don't have too much to talk about today. Uh, it is Tuesday, and this is the only day this week that I get to see Grant. Um, so I'm going to pick him up from work, or pick him up from school after work. And we'll just have this evening to spend together, and that's it. Um, then tomorrow he goes back over by his mom's. So that sucks. Um, she got him an extra weekend, so she has him three weekends in a row. Shoot, didn't make this stoplight. Um, three week weekends in a row because of Labor Day, so she got him for the holiday. Um, this weekend was really nice. Nikki and I went and visited my parents. No one else was there, so it was just the four of us. And Sophie and we got to hang out and do whatever we wanted so we did a little bit of archery we did a little bit of boating and uh, went and checked out a bonfire that was at uh, the campgrounds so that was kind of cool it was, uh, it was actually a really nice event so they had um, a DJ on site they had uh, vendor booths and stuff like that so they even had uh, one food truck serving up barbecue so it was really good. Um, today, today's Tuesday. Got a little bit of work done. But I also um, figured that uh, I'm kind of like out of it, you know, on days like this when I'm kind of sad that I haven't seen Grant for so long and all that. It's been kind of doom and gloom outside. It's raining since uh, this morning and stuff. So um, I figured I wanted to make some progress uh in one aspect or one area of, of one of my projects. So I got a bunch of projects and got ongoing, of course. But I decided to play with that switch. So I took a ML350 Gen 6, loaded it up last week with uh, three PCI cards. So one four port, uh, or one quad port uh, NIC, and two dual port SFP Plus 10 gig cards. It also has two internal ports, so I think that uh, is a total of, what is that, 10 ports? Six copper and four fiber. Um, so I, I got the server installed and up and running, or it's, it's actually going to be called a switch. I got the switch up and running and installed last week, and it's pretty cool, but uh, I haven't actually configured it to do anything really. So that's what I worked on today. So I worked a little bit more through the tutorial. And um, basically uh, got it configured. I got uh, the uh, one of the interfaces configured and got like the time server configured, the gateway, the name server, all that, like the DNS server. And I went out and um, tested it. And I can ping, I can ping uh, the internet. I had to move it into the data center to actually plug it into an internet connection. Uh, I can ping uh, Google. I can also uh, view the time and date and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, we're up and running. So the next step that which they have you do is they have you set up a bridge. So they have you basically bridge all of the other connections with that one connection that you uh, created initially. And once you do that, then all of the ports can get onto the internet. So it's the really most basic, simple, rudimentary um, network uh, switch config tutorial because, you know, you're not doing VLANs, you're not doing um, much of anything else. But with uh, the way you set it up and all that, it's pretty cool. It's, it's really cool. So I'm going to set up that bridge maybe tomorrow. We'll see. i, I got to get some work work done. But... Um, I gotta kind of figure out how I want to lay out my little network that I'm building. So I have um, devices that can do fi uh, 10 gig fiber, and I would kind of like to um, maybe segregate those. So maybe like those wouldn't even go out to the internet, or that traffic wouldn't go out to the internet. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet. 
So my main thought is to bridge possibly the fiber connections. Um, and from there, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it. Cause I guess if I'm running fiber, Yeah, because my uplink will always be copper, unfortunately. If I had a fiber uplink, that'd be titties. But, um... <coughs> I'm going to have to figure this out. So I did make a list of all my devices. And I can kind of figure out how I want to um, lay it out from there. But it's it's cool. It's fun. It's just one of those things you got to kind of chip away at and kind of learn as you go. Um, creating it, configuring it isn't too bad. And I also learned how to do um, backups. So if I fuck it up, I can always roll it back. And that makes me excited because, um, well, yeah, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I'm just happy it works for right now. So um, kind of just kind of go from there. But um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, so that's it, guys. I'm going to go pick up my little buddy and uh, give Nikki a call. So stay tuned for more.